Hi everybody. Today I'd like to talk to you about the capstone project. So what is a capstone project? A capstone project is a way for you to demonstrate to prospective employers and myself uh, that you can apply what you have learned in this class. Now I realize that you're still learning and so uh, the understanding is that I give you the capstone project now so that you can start to think about what you want to do and start to apply the tools that you're learning uh, to your drawing as you go. Uh, that said, um, there are many aspects to CAD and so there are three aspects to the capstone project. The first is uh, my favorite and it is worth 30 percent and I want you to go at and make your own uh, capstone drawing. I want you to make something that shows me uh, your level of enthusiasm for the class and uh, apply the, 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 the art that you have learned. Okay. The second portion it has to do with uh, technical drawings and it, it is a 2D portion and so I want you to make a reversing contactor and the third per portion has to do with assembly so whether you're in the electronics or the electromechanical it's become quite uh, useful to be able to assemble in 3D space some readily available components that you will find on the, the internet uh, to make sure that it fits and, and will function the way you want it to. So uh, we'll go through each portion of it and we'll take a look at the grading scheme and uh, hopefully you can get started now at least thinking ahead or uh, start, uh, start to uh, work on the 2D portion which you already have the skill set for. All right. Okay, so uh, the first portion of the, the project, as I mentioned, has to do with the, I'm calling it the 3D printed project. Whether or not you 3D print it, it's completely up to you. The idea is that I'm looking for something that's original. I'm looking for something that has some difficulty and uh, it needs, needs to look good. And so what am I expecting? out of it uh you know here's my here's my you know favorite favorite little piece of cad uh would i say it's original eh, not really it's i give it you know 60 percent for originality uh for difficulty i'd only give it like 30 percent uh and then when it comes to the drawings um okay so i've done the layouts but there's no dimensions to it there's no title block there's no border it's it's kind of just mediocre I'd probably give it a, a 50 percent uh, for for appearance and so you know is this a passing you know, passing grade yes is it something I would be proud of and no okay so uh, let's uh, let's look at this the second portion second portion has to do with your 2d wireframe and so I'm looking for some very specific things. Um, do you, have you used uh, blocks? Have you uh, connected all of your wires correctly? Did you put in wire nodes? Uh, is the uh, labeling done? Did you put in a revision table? Is, is there a border? Um, these, these are all things that I'm looking for. And so I'm looking for ideally this this is this is my drawing and um, if we go into model space you can see that uh, there are actually blocks for all the items and so i'm looking for you know make the psu a block make the relay or the contactor a block make the auxiliaries a block make the motor a block make the thermal overload a block okay the switches these are all things that you don't want to draw a second time and they should start to go into your library uh, so that so that it's it's there forever I'm also looking for an 11 by 17 uh, layout uh, and note that I took the time in my layout in my template file to make 
uh, an actual border that I can I can put uh, I can put the grid pattern on, uh, and it, it, this really makes your drawings look professional. I've also uh, well, I haven't, but you should uh, fill out the, the title block completely and have a revision table in there. This becomes the standard, okay? And so your your template your template file really has all of this information in it, okay? If you gave me this uh, filled in, uh, you would get a hundred percent, okay? Um, because I have included the nodes and 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 all right. The third portion is a little bit more involved. Uh, it's, it's also worth 30%, but uh, there's a fair bit of work to it. Uh, it is our 3D box. Um, there's a lot of grading involved here, but you'll notice most things aren't worth a lot of marks. Uh, but there is a lot. And the reason for that is that the actual drawing is mostly just assembling uh, some parts. Okay, so here we go. I'll hide that so we can take a look at it. Um, so readily available is uh, is the box, is this power supply, is the grommet, okay, the LEDs we've done. You can get the switch. <clears throat> we've done the fuse. We've done the the the, uh, the banana jacks, okay, and all that you really have to do is assemble it, modify it to, to suit, okay. So we have we have our holes to 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 match the components, right? We have uh, then create a set of drawings. So what do I expect for the drawings? This one you really need to shine on. I expect a cover page. Okay, this is a nice, nice, uh, nice image that shows us what this thing looks like when it's done. Uh, I expect an assembly. So how how am I going to put this together? Um, notice that there are no real dimensions. There's just labels. Anything that you do modify, I expect detailed drawings. Okay, so here's a very detailed drawing on how how this gets put together. Okay, there's a, a simple part, but it has the necessary dimensions. And this one uh, has something unique, right? So the grommet actually interferes with this back flange. So I took the time to <clears throat> I took the time to illustrate that. And even render it so that it looks uh, nice and it's very visible that that there's there's going to be this problem that you're going to have to get in there and grind this out. And so, if you were to give this to me uh, as a project, this would earn you a hundred percent. So, um, even with my 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 poor uh, 3D grade, uh, I'm still in the I won't do the math, but I'll say 75, 80, easily 85%. Okay. Um, so things that we need to be aware of, uh, this project for the, your first time is going to take a little bit of, a little bit of fussing. Um, there's no steadfast way to assemble this. It's up to you. If you wanted to put the, the switches across the top, so be it. Uh, if you want to put the fuse on the back, that would make sense to me as well. Um, by the way, this is actually a, a very similar project to something that I've had to make in the past, where I've had technicians that uh, we wanted to protect them from the high voltage, and our power supply wasn't wasn't up to code, so we had to actually take power supplies and put them in little uh, NEMA enclosures like this. So. A very real project. Okay, the two D. Uh, the only the only real caveat or the thing that you need to worry about is uh, I really want your line spacing to be consistent. I want the the lines to be square and perpendicular, and I want you to actually draw it. 
Um, some of you will have figured out that you can actually import a PDF. That's not really acceptable to trace it. Um, it, it. It isn't the goal of the project. And so there's a couple ways that I can tell uh, if you've done that. So please don't, don't make me go down that road. Uh, do the work yourself and definitely make this template up because you are going to be taxed over and over and over again over the next two to three years to use uh, this template or one very similar. So if you take the time now to make your template and make your um, your library of parts, it will save you uh, agony in the future. As for the uh the 3D project. Um, this one luckily has never been a real source of controversy for me, but uh, you do need to make sure that it is uh, fit for public consumption. Uh, I don't want anything that would be offensive or demeaning to anybody. So uh, that said, be aware uh, there is uh, quite a bit of sensitivity to this, uh, but if you want to make anything else it's up to you it can be small and you can take it and get it printed i can help you with that or if you want to make the empire state building i don't care it's it's completely up to you uh, for size all right if you have any questions please feel free to uh, send me an email and i'll and i'll get back to you uh, make sure that you keep an eye on the marking scheme. There is one official document for marking, and it is subject to change. Um, and if I do change it, however, I will notify you. And um, I really, really want you to have a bit of fun with this, especially the 3D um, printed uh, capstone project, because it can be it can be an absolute joy to to actually be creative in cat all right thanks and have a great day